Mastering the Safety IV Catheter Cannulation Process Hello and welcome to Maze India Safety IV Catheter Training. Today, we're going to talk you through the essential steps of the safety IV cannulation process. Whether you're a healthcare professional looking to refresh your skills or a newcomer eager to learn, this video is helping to guide you through each step, ensuring a safe and effective procedure. So, let's get started. Automated Safety IV Catheter Production Let's take a behind-the-scenes look at the cutting-edge technology that goes into producing safety IV catheters. Our state-of-the-art, fully automatic machine ensures precision and efficiency throughout the manufacturing process. Our entire product is manufactured in Clean Room Class 10000 or ISO Class 7. Inserting the safety IV catheter, with port and wings. Step 1, Preparing for the Procedure. The first step in the process is to ensure a clean and sterile environment. Wash your hands thoroughly and gather all the necessary equipment, safety IV catheter, sterile gloves, antiseptic solution, a securement device, and a dressing. Step 2. Look for a visible, palpable vein, preferably on the back of the hand or forearm. Consider the patient's medical history, the purpose of the IV therapy, and the condition of the veins. Step 3. Cleaning and prepping the site. Now that we've selected the site, it's time to clean and prepare it. Use a septic technique to clean the area with an antiseptic solution. Allow it to dry completely before proceeding. Step 4. Inserting the safety IV catheter with port and wings. Maintain a steady hand, enter the vein at the 30 degree angle, and advance the catheter smoothly. Step 5. Confirming proper insertion, flashback chamber. Before withdrawing the needle, it's crucial to confirm proper insertion. Check the flashback chamber, a transparent part of the safety IV catheter. If you see blood in the flashback chamber, it indicates that the catheter is correctly placed within the vein. This visual confirmation is a key step in ensuring the success of the procedure. Step 6. Safety Device Activation, Needle Withdrawal. Hold the catheter and catheter body gently with your fingers while withdrawing the needle. As we withdraw the needle, a safety device is automatically activated. The safety device significantly reduces the risk of accidental needle sticks, offering protection to healthcare workers. Step 7. Securing and Dressing the Site. After confirming proper insertion and activating the safety device, secure catheter with a sterile dressing and a securement device. Inserting the safety IV catheter, without wings and port. Again, maintain precision in your technique. Step 1. Selecting the site. Look for a visible, palpable vein, preferably on the back of the hand or forearm. Consider the patient's medical history, the purpose of the IV therapy, and the condition of the veins. Step 2. Cleaning and prepping the site. Now that we've selected the site, it's time to clean and prepare it. Use a septic technique to clean the area with an antiseptic solution. Allow it to dry completely before proceeding. Step 3. Inserting the safety IV catheter. Maintain a steady hand, enter the vein at the 30 degree angle, and advance the catheter smoothly. Step 4. Confirming proper insertion, flashback chamber. Before withdrawing the needle, it's crucial to confirm proper insertion. Check the flashback chamber, a transparent part of the safety IV catheter. If you see blood in the flashback chamber, it indicates that the catheter is correctly placed within the vein. Step 5. Safety device activation, needle withdrawal. Hold the catheter and catheter body gently with your fingers while withdrawing the needle. As we withdraw the needle, a safety device is automatically activated. The safety device significantly reduces the risk of accidental needle sticks, offering protection to healthcare workers. Step 6. Securing and dressing the site. After confirming proper insertion and activating the safety device, secure catheter with a sterile dressing. Thank you for seeing the video. For more information about the product and training, please contact us on Giving Informations.